Dear student, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the cathode ray tube and how cathode ray tubes works. Cathode ray tube is a device which is used to convert an electrical signals into visual images. In a simple word, cathode ray tube convert electronic beams into images. Common example of cathode ray tubes are normal household televisions and as well as oscilloscopes which are used in labs. So, in a simple word, cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube in which an images are produced when an electron beam strikes a phosphorescent screen. So, in a cathode ray tube, there are electron beams which are produced inside the cathode ray tubes. These electron beams form, fall on the phosphorescent screen. Phosphorescent screen are the screen which will glow when electrical charged particles or radiations fall on the phosphorescent screens. So the electron beam in cathode ray tube will fall on the phosphorescent screen of the cathode ray tube and due to this the phosphorescent screen will go and uh, will glow and produce an image. So now dear student let us discuss the construction of cathode ray tube and after discussing the construction we will explain that how cathode ray tube works. Cathode ray tube consists of a vacuum glass tube. Basically, the cathode ray tube is made up of a glass which is evacuated by a vacuum pump. Usually, the pressure inside the cathode ray tube is 0 0.01 tar or it is around 10 to the power minus 4 atmos. The evacuation of the cathode ray tube is done by a vacuum tube. The reason of evacuation is that if there are cathode rays produced inside the cathode ray tube, so they will not interact with the molecules of air and the vacuum tube will be clean and pure. Cathode ray tube has a heater inside it and heater has two connection pins like this these pins of the heaters are connected with a filament which is made up of tungsten so dear student the cathode ray tube is also has also two electrode one of electrode is known as cathode the role of cathode in cathode ray tube is very important cathode is an electrode which produce or which liberate electron from itself the Tungsten filament in a cathode ray tube work on thermionic emission. The pins of the heater of the cathode ray tube, cathode ray tube basically connect with the potential source or with the battery and or with the switch. And due to this, when they are connected with the potential source, they basically heat up the tungsten filament. Tungsten filament become red glow, and due to this the thermionic emission basically the the cathode inside the cathode ray tube which is um, also metal it also get heat up and it will liberate or it will produce electrons in the form of electron beams the cathode ray tube has a fluorescent screen this is the fluorescent screen of the cathode ray tube the student please keep in mind the fluorescent screen is made up of phosphorus. However, the phosphorus 
Before the phosphorus, the fluorescent screen is coated with zinc oxide, zinc titanate, or zinc sulfide. These all are metals. And on those metals, zinc sulfide, zinc titanate, or zinc oxide, phosphorus is painted or phosphorus coating is done. So this is basically the composition of the phosphor uh, of the fluorescent screen in a cathode rays tube. Cathode rays tube also consists of three metallic anodes. Apart from the anode, cathode rays tube consists of a setup which is known as an electric grid. The role of the electric grid in cathode rays tube is very important. Since you know that electrons are produced by cathode, but the electron produced, they are not focused and they cannot move with high speed inside the cathode rays tube toward the fluorescent screen. So in order to speed up the electron on end, in order to focus the electron toward the phosphorescent screen, or fluorescent screen, the electric grid is used inside the cathode rays tube. Apart from the electric grid, cathode rays tube have three metallic setup, three metallic anode. One anode is known as pre-accelerating anode. Second type of anode is known as focusing anode. The role of the focusing anode is to basically focus the electron which will come out of the cathode and third type of anode is known as accelerating anode this student please keep in mind that the wall of the cathode rays tube are coated with special type of coating and that coating is known as aqua deck coating Aqua deck, the role of the aqua deck coating is to control uniform electric field inside the cathode rays tube. And it also focus the flow of electrons throughout the cathode rays tube. So these are the two basic roles of the aqua deck coating. Aqua deck coating, the word aqua is used because the aqua deck coating is coating of aqueous conducting graphites. Cathode rays tube also consists of horizontal deflection plates. These plates are known as X plate and also cathode rays tube consists of vertical deflection plates and these deflection plates are known as Y deflection plates. Both the horizontal and vertical deflection plates are connected with positive terminal of the battery or they are positively charged. So the role of the horizontal deflection plate and vertical deflection plate is very important. These plates basically decide where the electron beam will fall on the phosphorescent screen. So, if, get, if the electron beam fall on the positive y axis of the phosphorescent screen, then this means that the y axis of the cathode rays uh, plate, uh, y axis or y plate of the y deflection plate is basically adjusted in a summer way that electron beam fall on the positive y axis of the phosphorescent screen. Now, this student, please keep in mind, interesting question here is that how the electron beam, it will come in your mind that how the electron beam will fall along the positive x, y axis or negative y axis or along the minus x axis or along the positive x axis. So in order to understand that how electron suppose uh, a fall on the vertical direction of the fluorescent phosphorescent screen you need to understand the charging on the vertical deflection plate of the cathode rays tube 
since you know that electrons are produced in a cathode and they move toward the phosphorescent screen so electrons have negative charge and whereas the deflection plates have positive charge and both the deflection suppose we are performing a deflection at plus y axis this means that the y axis plate the upper part of the y axis plate will be positive will be more positively charged as compared to the lower uh, part of the deflection plate so as you know that the electrons which will move from cathodes have negative charge and when they pass through the y axis deflection plate then the uh, upper part of the y axis deflection plate have more positive charge so these electrons will be attracted by the y axis deflection plate and due to attraction the electron will be deflected and they will fall on the positive y axis of the phosphorescent screen similarly in order to um, uh, electron to be deflected along the negative y axis of the phosphorescent screen basically the negative the lower uh, plate of the uh, uh, y axis plate will be basically will be more positively charged so when electron pass through the uh, y axis plate the lower plate will attract this electron and this electron will start to deflect and they will fall on on the minus y axis of the phosphorescent screen or, or fluorescent screen in same in the same way x plate or horizontal deflection plate is adjusted and on the basis of that deflection along the negative x-axis or positive x-axis of the fluorescent screen will be done and on the basis of this deflection the uh, glow of the phosphorescent screen it will be converted into an image and we can see an electric field converted into electric current or electric uh, um current converted into electric uh, electron beam converted into a visual images so now dear student so this is all about the construction of cathode ray tube so now dear student let us discuss that how cathode ray tube works basically cathode ray tube has a heater inside it and the pin of the heaters are connected with positive and negative terminal of the potential source or battery so when these two pins of the electric heater which is present in a cathode ray tubes are connected with negative and positive terminal of the battery and if high potential difference is between the positive and negative terminal of the battery the electron or the current will start to flow inside the inside the filament through the pin of the heater of the cathode rest tube so when the potential difference is applied the filament due to high potential difference filament will start to become a red hot and when the filament become red hot it will cause a thermionic emission and it will heat up the cathodes and when cathode is heated up up to a certain temperature then electron cathode will start to produce cathode rays or electron beams so these electron beams will fall on phosphorescent screen and due to this we will observe a phosphorescence on the phosphorescent screen or we will observe a glow on the phosphorescent screen and this glow is basically give us a visual image of the electrical signal inside the cathode ray tube now here are some interesting point to notice dear student the geometry of the heater the filament inside the heater cathode and electric grid it is usually known as electron gun sometimes the pre accelerating electrodes are also included 
in as assembly of the electron guns so now let us conclude the cathode rest tube construction and as well as working of the cathode rest tube cathode rest tube is a device which basically convert an electrical signal into a visual images cathode rest tube basically it consists of a highly evacuated vacuum tube inside the vacuum tubes there are heaters filament uh, cathodes uh, electric grade and as well as anode and x and y deflection plates and phosphorescent screen so when the high potential is applied across the cathode rest tube the high potential difference will cause the liberation or basically generation of the electrons or electron beam from the cathode rays uh, from the cathode and the cathode they will basically um, um, move in a form of a cathode rays and they will fall on the phosphorescent screen so the phosphorescent screen will basically glow due to interaction of the cathode rays on the phosphorescent screen and due to this the glow the electrical signal of the cathode rays will be converted into visual image so dear student this is all about the construction of cathode rays tube and as well as working of cathode rays tube so thank you for watching this lecture